Teachers held a protest at the school board meeting in Folsom tonight, saying enough is enough. ABC 10's Roxanne Elias is live in the studio with more on their demands. What's the latest, Roxanne? Chris, hundreds of teachers dressed in their red expressed their concerns and frustrations to me today. Many who say they just want to feel valued after putting in numerous hours of work every single day. Tonight, let me demonstrate how a teacher like myself needs the salary ask you refuse to give us. In a packed room full of Folsom Cordova Unified School District educators, one after another, giving an earful to their Board of Education each sharing their own unique story. As a special education teacher, you put in so many hours and hours. For Lori Wilkin, having an autistic son makes her even more passionate in being a resource specialist. I just want people to understand that the teachers in this district put forth so much of their selves into their jobs and how much we love it. That's why we do it. But she says at times they're having to work long hours and on weekends, and it's concerning the amount of educators who are leaving the district. Like a lot of industries, there's a labor shortage. Um, certainly we have lost some teachers to some things that we just don't have any control over. So for instance, some teachers have retired. Some teachers have moved out of state. The district says right now it's working to hire 21 classroom teachers. During that time, the Folsom Cordova Education Association is demanding higher pay and better benefits. We're hoping um, for a fair compensation package that would entice teachers, entice teachers to come to our district and in retain the teachers that we currently have so that we're not losing them to other districts. I mean, we have tremendous talent and we want to keep it here in house. Lori Wilkins says the bottom line is they all want to stay, but they need to feel valued and compensated in some way. It's kind of like when you're on that airplane and they always tell you when you're with your child, make sure you put your mask on first so you can help the child. Well, us teachers, we need a mask. We need the appropriate kind of mask to be able to best assist all of our kids. The district says it absolutely wants to be competitive and make sure that their teachers are satisfied. And tonight's meeting is just one of those to listen to them and address their needs. I know that this is something that we're going to be following in the days and weeks ahead. Please keep us posted as that story develops. Thank you.